on guys Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web and today for you guys um, I know we took a little bit of a break there was a lot of other content going on in the game but uh, now we're gonna get back to it all right let's get into some more grand quest missions all right today we're gonna knock out Lynn's long day all right this one pretty straightforward um let me show you guys the achievements here here are the achievements all right pretty straightforward guys um this one is you don't really have to figure anything out all right basically all you need to do is complete every battle in this mission within a certain number of turns and then finish it pretty much it all right so pretty straightforward as to what you have to do um now all you have to do is assemble a squad that can do it all right so uh, let me show you guys the squad that i used all right but my leader here my lovely Anna Magriel, sweetness, all right. Magal Kakur, you know what I'm saying? Show you guys all the sphere setups and all that. So you guys will be able to see what's going on here. All right, Anna Mayura, MVP right there, beast mode. All right, for doll here, mainly for the first battle, which I'm explain to you guys here soon. And then my girl Lava here, uh, mainly for her SBB, giving us that, uh, Increase in BB slash SPB damage, and then we got Lynn here who, man, I'm kind of glad they gave her that sphere set up. She needs it in order to survive. So, uh, here we go, guys. Let me basically break down to you how this Grand Quest work, Grand Quest works. All right, like I stated earlier, it's fairly straightforward. All right, there are no alternate paths and no other ways you can take to get the places. It's one path. From beginning to the end is one path, so you don't have to figure anything out, you don't have to research, you don't have to do any of that, alright? Basically, all you need to do is just complete every battle in a certain number of turns. So, here we go. The first area is Confusion Lake. Here you'll fight Grand Jelly, alright? It is the same Grand Jelly from the side quest mission, alright? The quest side quest mission, but he is nowhere near as difficult, okay? Um, basically, all you have to do is defeat him within nine turns, I believe. All right, if you don't, he's going to use a move called Melt the World and you will die. There is no surviving that junk, all right? You will die, all right? So basically, all you need to do is try to keep him poisoned from start to finish. If you can do that, easy peasy. Mission complete, all right? Um, you'll lay out Grand Jelly. The next battle will be against Pirate Goddess Eve and Four Rand Tools. Um, this battle is the reason why I brought my Grill as leader, Nullify Status Elements, okay? Because if you don't... I hope you have at least one unit with some kind of a sphere that nullifies status ailments because she will start the battle paralyzing your entire squad, guys. All right, and with your entire squad paralyzed, there's absolutely nothing you can do. All right, you're pretty much gonna d die at that point. All right, so that's who you battle at the Fever Springs here. The next battle is against Thunderbird and Crow Tengu. Um, this battle just focus on Crow Tengu. Um, the Thunderbird doesn't have that much HP, Crow Tengu has more. So focus on taking him out the Thunderbird of Fall next. Alright, same thing goes. Um, of course, you know Thunderbird can paralyze. So uh, make sure you have a way to handle status elements there. Last battle on Mount Fireflower. You battle against Phoenix Reborn and King Bosdells. Alright, the only thing you need to worry about in that battle is the King Bosdells, they count down. Okay, when you see them count down to the number one that turn you want to guard all of your units because they're going to use a really powerful aoe attack that uh can wipe you out if you don't guard guys all right it's very strong so just make sure you guard every time they count down all right and you'll be able to mow that battle down with no problem all right so basically what i'm going to do is just walk through it show you guys how i got this squad to do it i use this exact squad to do it to do all of this um grand quest 100 percent all right so let's go ahead and get into it guys we're gonna fast forward it and we're gonna get into it so here we go fast forward
guys, and there you have it. Lynn's Long Day Grand Quest 100% Guide. Alright, so not really difficult to figure out at all. You're just going to have to make sure you build the right squad in order to get it all done. Um, you may have to do it more than one time in order to make that happen. Alright, but uh, nothing you really need to figure out. It's just every boss got to be tackled a little bit differently. So uh, build proper squads, you'll get it done easily. Let me show you guys the rewards here. You get a gem, right? you get land when you clear it. Communicator sphere, 100% completions, some imps, some imps, some imps, and some more imps, all right? So, those are the rewards, all right? Um, Lynn isn't that great of a unit. Um, the communicator sphere is pretty decent, all right? Um, nothing like super de duper good or anything like that, but it's a pretty nice sphere. Um, slightly boosts damage against weak elements and greatly boosts drop rate of HC, all right? So, um, 20% increase in damage when you're doing the damage against a weak element and 15% boost to HC drop rate. All right. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. I um, didn't even need a mitigator to get that quest done. All right. Just got to know how to do it. So got to wrap this video up. If you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier soon. Later, guys.